Hi guys, Corey here with iProducts, and today I'm going to show you how to restore your phone with a custom firmware from uh, Snowbreeze. And you're going to want to head over to the I Hate Snow blog. Uh, I'll have the link in the description as well as on screen right now. And on the right of the screen, you're going to see downloads, and the very bottom download is Snowbreeze version 2.9.6. For iOS 3.1 through 5.1.1, and after you download that, go ahead and go to your downloads and open Snowbreeze. Now, once you have now once you have Snowbreeze open, you'll see this screen. Go ahead and click the big blue arrow, and I have a IPSW already downloaded. Um, if you do not, you can click the orange button for, and they have a variety of firmware as you can download from. I'm going to click browse for IPSW. I'll scroll down and select my IPSW. I have a 3GS old boot ROM. If you don't know how to tell, you can detect it for you. Or if you don't have a 3GS at all, then that's fine too. So I'm going to click old boot ROM and big blue arrow. I'm going to select expert mode. I'll go to general and then I'll install iPad baseband do not do this for yourself unless you know what you are doing I'll make a tutorial on this later but do not do this right now um, I am going to browse for custom uh, dev packages you don't have to do this this is just uh, for me so I don't have to act activate my phone Okay, big blue arrow. Go ahead and select Build IPSW and click. Now, this time right here, it's building an IPSW. That means it's inputting Cydia, it's uploading all this stuff that you can do. And while you're waiting, you can either play Pac Man or you can just wait and um, it'll be done shortly. So uh, I'll come back and when it's done. Okay. okay, so after the IPSW is done being built, this is what you should see. It says done. After you click OK, you will follow the on-screen instructions to put your device in Pond DFU mode. So I'm going to click OK and then turn off your device. Mine is in recovery mode, so I can't really do that. Um, go ahead and click Start. And in 5, 4, hold your home and power button down in 1. Now go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let go of the home power button. I mean, hold the home button, and you won't have to hold it for the whole thirty seconds. But, and I should be able to let go right now. Now running iReb, and then it should say your device is now in pawned DFU mode, black screen. Now click OK and you are now done with Snowbreeze. Okay, now once you've launched iTunes, it should say iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. Just click OK, click Shift Restore, and Snowbreeze should have put an app, uh, put an IPSW onto your desktop. The way you'll know which one it is, is it will say Snowbreeze and then iPhone and your iPhone so after that, just click it, it'll say extracting software, and I'll come back when it's done. Now extracting software is done, now it says preparing iPhone for restore, and this should be on your screen, a snowflake with a byte taken out of it, and a loading bar. Now iTunes says waiting for iPhone, and the bar should start loading after a little bit of waiting. Sometimes this can take a while, so don't get... Um, don't get overwhelmed if it freezes for a second or if it stops loading. Just give it this, give it some time. This should take at least 10 minutes. So I'll come back when the bar is three quarters of the way full. Okay, so the bar is now about three quarters of the way full. Um, not to be worried. The last part that I just got through, it said verifying iPhone restore and showed loading loading bars on iTunes. I sat here for about 12 minutes waiting for that. So if that happens to you, don't panic. Um, 
it says restoring iPhone firmware with the loading bar on iTunes right now and it is loading very slow so I just wanted to let you guys know that that is very normal if it takes up to 12 minutes for that to load okay so I'm gonna skip forward to where restore iPhone firmware is over okay see you guys in a little bit okay restoring iPhone firmware is complete my phone is booting up right now and iTunes has a message saying my iPhone has been restored to factory settings and uh, it should be booting up in 10 seconds so let's just wait there we go this bar will be the last loading bar you'll see before uh, your phone will be fully restored back from iOS 6 to iOS 5.1.1 after iTunes recognizes it the bar will start loading and this one will be a quick load as you can see it doesn't take that long and now accessing iTunes store and my phone should be booting up in about three seconds alright there we go and it says iPhone and if I slide to unlock uh, enable breezy okay so I'll click next set up his new iPhone next I'll skip this step for now skip and agree to this agree I always check automatically send but you don't have to and start using iPhone there you go guys you are successfully back to iOS 5.1.1 let me just go to the settings and about to show you go to settings general go to about and scroll down and right here you will see version 5.1.1 and you are successfully restored now go ahead and do a backup if you if you installed one before you restored and once again this has been Corey with iProducts I will be posting my Facebook page and my uh, Twitter down below in the section uh, please comment subscribe like my Facebook follow me on Twitter and let me know if there's any concerns or questions you have okay thank you